Let's take a look at how to use the annotation tool in ArcGIS Pro. First, we're going to create a random annotation to work with. So I'm going to just go to the Create option here and select Medium Text. And I'm just going to put some text right in the middle of the screen there. So also, I'm going to deselect the text and show you how to use the annotation tool and, and start working with it as if you had not just added something to it. So, uh, so right now I don't have a selection. I'm going to then just draw a rectangle. And while you're on the edit menu, you can then go to the tool section here and you'll see an option called annotation. So click on that. Uh, you'll know you have it selected because it'll put a box around the text and you'll get a couple tools that pop up such as down below here you can see some font options uh, you'll have the uh, finish and cancel options here and you also should have uh, modify features uh, pane with annotation listed underneath it so now that you have a text annotation it's been selected and you've got the annotation tool also going it's going to give you some options that make it really nice working with text so first off you can see how it's highlighted I can start typing and I can uh, actually overwrite what's there with some new text. So instead of having to go to the attributes window and making changes from that screen, you can just start typing it there and that'll work. Also, if I want to resize, I can just grab the corners or any of these boxes actually and click and drag to make those larger or smaller. Or if you look uh, at the corners also, you get a, a different type of icon that shows the two arrows, one pointing up, one pointing to the left. If you click and drag there, then you can rotate. So I can rotate that 360 degrees and place that how I want. Um, also, you'll notice too that with the finish and the cancel buttons here, I can easily just click on cancel if I wanted to go back to its original uh, text and location and size and whatnot. So if I do that though, notice that the box around the text is now gone. So in order to get that working again, I need to go back to annotation and click on it. And it gives me my box uh, again. Uh, but let's take a look at changing some of the text in here. So uh, if I want to, I can use this, uh, these font options down below in the left here where I'm uh, hovering over. And I can do things like change the size. So let's make it a little bit smaller. I can also go from uh, regular font to bold. You might have options like italicize as well, depending on the font. And then we can also just change the font on the fly as well as the color. So I'll just change that and give us a new color here. And uh, let's make it back a little bit bigger again. So uh, all those things can be done just right here from this box. Again, you don't have to go to the annotations uh, or attribute uh, window to be able to make those changes would make it a quite a bit easier than uh, the normal approach. Um, also, you can easily move this around so you don't have to click on the move uh, option either. So, so just to summarize, uh, the annotation tool gives you some quicker and easier ways of manipulating text, including rotation, uh, resizing, font uh, changes, uh, movement, and uh, some other nice tools for being able to work with text.